When it comes to hunting down Dracula and taking out his army of horrific monsters, there's only one name you think of. I'm talking about Simon Belmont. But there's another guy. He doesn't use a whip. In fact, he uses his bare fists. I'm talking about Kyle in this game. It's called Nosferatu for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Now don't believe the enemy, oh, whoa, 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 holy shit. That was a gruesome scream. As I was saying, I don't believe uh, Dracula is the main villain. I th uh, it's called Nosferatu. Yeah, Nosferatu, Creature of the Night. This game, I believe, uses rotoscope, um, which is the same type of uh, animation graphics that they use for the original, uh, I believe it was uh, Prince of Persia, and um, I believe they also use Rotoscope for um, Out of This World. I'm not too sure. This game is kind of an obscure game. A lot of people don't know of it, um, but it's just it's unique in so many ways. It's just the fighting mechanics are cool. Uh, there's kind of a slight combo system. There's a lot of rules to it. I'm going to try to remember all the combinations, but we'll see what happens. You know, so some enemies just don't attack you, they just kind of like walk by you. I, that I never really understood in this game. So much to remember of this game, it's been a while since I've played it. Gotten pretty close to beating it a few times. Uh, difficulty in it actually spikes substantially. It's as if the first level is more of like a tutorial just to like get you used to it. Now, this part I died on a lot, but there's a... So you gotta run, slide, like that, see? I used to figure out that puzzle, see? Me and him are just crossing paths. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm doing good. Elbow. Just shoulder smashed him. Oh, that was close. That's some, that was some like freaking stupid bullshit, you know. Oh, look at me, I'm in a haunted fucking house fucking attraction, fuck you. Haha. Uh -huh. All right, so what's going on in the world of Sushi Robo? I'll tell you what's going on. So, PRG is coming up this weekend, and I will be there with my booth, as always. I'll be doing what I, kind of a new thing. So, I used to kind of wanted to do the idea of doing a, a, re, a review at the expo itself. Problem is, is when I did it at the NWCG -E -E swap meet. <laughs> um, well, let's put it this way. When I did at the NWCG swap meet, it was kind of a, it was a cluster. It was really rough. It was hard to do. Uh, I did the let's play and I also did a review and I thought, oh, I'm never ever going to do that again. And I've kind of just learned to accept that. Yeah, I'm never ever going to do that again because it's rough. It's really rough. And anyways, so what do I want to, what am I going to do is, uh, well, it's PRG. I can't just do nothing. So I decided to do uh, live at PRGE Sushi Robo. So I'm just gonna go around with my live feed on my camera phone and uh, pretty much just harass random people. You know, a couple friends I know in the community, John Riggs, uh, you'll probably see a few other names that you've not met before. You'll probably see the wee guy, of course. You'll always see the wee guy. And then, uh, probably not Russ Lyman. I don't think he's gonna be able to show up to the, to the expo this year. But um, we'll also have uh, maybe some big name YouTubers, maybe like Space Hamster, PBG, Pro Jared. Maybe they'll want to let me harass them. Who knows? But we'll see what happens with that. So if you guys are interested, definitely watch my live feeds on my Facebook page. I'll be doing them at random intervals. I'll be in the live arcade area doing some arcade games. Maybe I'll challenge a couple of my YouTube friends to arcade stuff. Um, also go around, look at other booths, talk to other names, people. Maybe we'll see the Retrotainment guys there, which is a super exciting thing. I saw that Retrotainment actually uh, took a peek at my review of uh, Haunted Halloween. So that's exciting. I think they liked it because, you know, there hasn't been any bad comments thrown my way from them and they liked the video. At least I think it was them that liked the video. I know they liked the Facebook post. Oh. Frankenstein's back up there again. Hey! Walking around. I don't know why Nosferatu pays me. 
That's a sweet gig. Oh! He should be dead. I mean, I'm sorry, but that was like straight into the... Straight into the eyeballs was a fucking spikes. I mean, sorry, but Kyle, you're dead. I don't care how badass you think you are. You just got spikes straight to the eyeballs. Controls in this game are good. I think actually maybe my controller is a piece of junk, and that's why I'm having issues controlling him. Oh no. Not cool. Don't want to fight you. No. Okay, so that was like the creature from the Black Lagoon. What he's doing out of the lagoon, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh, piss off! Oh, wow. Skills, and I fucking fall. What the fuck? What kind of clothes am I wearing? If it is, if it is 1990 or post 1990, what am I wearing? It looks like a hoodie. I'm trying to figure out what I'm wearing. Fuck off. Go, god damn. This is my curse. Every t this is a sushi robo plays curse, folks. What is it? You get to, you, I get to the second level, and then I just start getting f trashed. Look what happened with uh, Nightmare Busters. Uh, well, no, actually I made it like way farther than that, but the second level like ripped, ripped me. Well, I'd say that, honestly, the Metal Storm, like how wrecked I got in Metal Storm. So these levels are kind of linear. They're, uh, they're a pseudo linear. You can like pretty much attack any part of the level you want, depending on your style or Whatever, it, it just really depends on you as a person. And your skill of playing. I mean, some people want to go this route, some people want to go that route. But... It, I, I would say it's not as smooth as Castlevania. Castlevania is pretty... Well... I'd say, but... Even people hate on Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, but I... I honestly don't hate it. It did something new. It did something different than the first one. But the thing was, it was it was a sequel. I mean, it, it had nothing to go off of. It's not like it, it was damaging any uh, traditions. It wasn't really any traditions to begin with. It's I have the cur Sushi Roll's Curse of the second level. That's what it is. I do good on the first level at all times, and then I have issues on the second level. It's like the... It's a curse. Nosferatu is a fun game, but it is a game of running face first into walls. That's what you're going to be doing for most of the time. I lo Thank you, Kyle, for demonstrating my what I was trying to explain. The platforming is somewhat sim. I was gonna say simple, but as you keep on, enter you are a whore. It takes out for Harambe. And that's how you take out uh, two gorillas that are obviously zombified. Okay, motherfucker. Well, that was Nosferatu for the Super Nintendo. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble with the uh, Sushi Robo second level curse, but still got through it like always. And that was just kind of a quick playthrough of the game. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and subscribe. And, you know, as always, I'll see you in the next video.
That's right, I'm talking about Kyle and this game. It's backwards, son of a bitch. <laughs> I got it right. <laughs>